All right, dudes. Always looking for creative ways to feed our trout. As you know, it can be very expensive to feed them. It's 80 bucks for a 50 pound bag of feed. So if we can get away with feeding them for free or cheap, we're gonna do that. I've got a bag full of old venison. It's like five or six years old. I intended to grind it up into sausage. It just never happened. So I don't wanna waste anything. That's why I kept it for so long. But over the years, I keep adding more and more scraps. So that's basically raw meat. Got a five gallon pail. Got these five gallon pails for free. Get them from the grocery store. If you go in them, they use them for icing and cake mixes and all that sort of stuff. So you got a three eighths, three eighths inch drill bit. And all I'm gonna do is gonna pop a bunch of holes in here. This is gonna become a maggot feeder. So. We're just gonna punch a bunch of holes in the bottom here. because we want the maggots to fall out after they hatch. We don't want them to have a party inside here. We want them to fall down into the water and get eaten by our trout. Okay, so that's step number one. We got our holes all drilled up. Now, before we just throw the meat down in the bottom, we need to get some leaves. And the leaves are gonna form a crucial part of this. We put the leaves down and then we put the meat on top. The flies, are going to lay their eggs on top of the meat. And then when they're done feeding on the meat, they're gonna to try to burrow down and deposit and then pupate. The trick we're gonna pull on them is that they're actually gonna, they're gonna fall through the bottom into the water. <laughs> they're not gonna get the pupate at all. So I can start this system almost anywhere. The maggots are gonna fall down on the bottom. And then I can have a whole bunch of maggots down on the second story this maggot factory. Now you might wonder, how are those flies gonna get in there to start laying the eggs? Well, I've got a hole pre-drilled here. This is a, an inch, about an inch sized hole. The flies are gonna go in here and they're gonna settle down on the bottom on the meat and then nature's gonna take the rest of the course for us. So let's go get some leaves and then we'll throw our meat in here. So we got our loose duff in there. We don't want soil, sand. We want them to be able to burrow down nice and easily and then obviously get messed up and then fall through those holes. Now all we gotta do is add meat. Obviously this has to be raw meat. This stuff is from 07. I'm pretty sure I found some stuff here that's Oh, this is 2012. So this is a good way to make use of meat resources that would otherwise be completely useless to anybody or anything. So if we can successfully turn 15 pounds of really old meat into fish food, then we've done well for ourselves. All right guys, have a look at that. Does that look appetizing to you? I'm sure it does to a housefly. That's for nature. Okay, so lid on. We'll make sure this is tightly sealed. Obviously vermin are gonna be attracted to this too, like raccoons and skunks. So we're gonna make sure that we have this clipped down. And as you can see, there's that opening. All those flies are gonna smell that rotting meat. They're gonna fly in there. They're gonna do their business inside the pail. And then they're gonna drop down into compartment number two which is perfect for us. So I'm gonna bring this back home and I'm gonna keep an eye on it because I wanna watch the entire fly life cycle. It'll start off as egg and it'll go to three instars, one, for two, and three instars before it goes into the, before it decides it wants to burrow down and pupate. The first stage of this is gonna happen in about 24, 48 hours where the flies lay eggs and it'll take another day for them to hatch into little tiny maggots. And then over the period of about seven days, six, five to seven days or so, they'll start to mature and grow. We want to catch it before it pupates because obviously fish want to eat something that's living and moving and uh, you know alive and wiggling. So before that happens, we'll bring this back down to the pond and we'll hang it over the pond. So as those maggots start burrowing down, they randomly drop down in the water and the trout come out and smoke them. And hopefully we'll get some good footage of that. Oh man, we're making some progress now. Look at it. 
There's a bunch of eggs. Ew, I don't want to touch anything. A bunch of eggs on top. Oh, flies everywhere. So we're at uh, 23 hours. So those eggs down there, that white patch, those eggs are going to hatch in about 23 hours. And for the next approximately 48 hours, they're going to feed until they're fully mature. And then they're going to want to look down to the bottom and encase. And then they'll stay encased and pupate for 130 hours. And then 143 hours later, they're going to become a full fly and they're going to repeat the life cycle. It won't be long before we have some fish food. Well, man, look at that. Some of those eggs are actually hatching into worms. Look at all those little maggots. They're starting to feed already. All right, guys, here's our maggots. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. This is the last experiment I'm doing with the maggots. I've got them uh, in a cashews container, double bagged, little tiny hole in the top because I put it in the fridge to cool them off to keep them alive longer. They're crawling out of the hole. I've got this thing triple bagged. It's, um, well, they're finding a way to escape out of this thing too. The only way to do this is on site. Uh, so that's what we're gonna switch to now. We're gonna get a post um, pounder. We're gonna anchor it down in the bottom and we're gonna leave the uh, a bucket hanging over the top. And then we're gonna, well, I'm gonna punch a few holes in there extra so they can crawl out and we can get this thing done with. Um, it worked really well. It's converted almost 100% of that meat in there to maggots. So basically you're gonna get, well, probably 80% conversion rate because there's gonna be some ways to convert your meat to maggot, but it worked really, really well, uh, but it stinks. It's not something you wanna do at home at all. You can't keep them in here. You can't keep it ventilated. They escape everywhere. So let's get this in the water and let's get the, the feed to the fish. We'll see if this works. I hope it works. Well, it should work as long as the feed gets in the fish's mouth, which is a whole nother thing altogether to teach these fish how to eat proper food. All right, let's get this rocking. All right, that's step one. Let's hang that bucket. That was a mouthful. Oh, it's so bad. Oh. Dude, it's so ripe. <coughs> <coughs> All right, I'm gonna put a couple holes in here. <laughs> oh. oh man, that's bad. We're gonna open it so we get maximum effect out of it. Well, oh, if you're wondering why I'm going quick, when I was doing this before, all my clothes smell, my arms smell, <coughs> oh, my beard smell. I have a shower every time I touch this. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> Oh, dude, <laughs> that's some fish food, but it's stinky fish food. All right, put the lid back on. <laughs> oh man, hopefully this is tall enough. All right, gotta get my gloves here. I'm not touching that bucket without gloves, man. There we go. <coughs> That's rank, man. <laughs> We're gonna let the water uh, chill out a little bit because it's all muddied up and then we'll drop the GoPro down there and hopefully we'll be able to see some of those worms, uh, maggots drop down in the water and the fish actually picking them off. <sighs> be nice if our efforts were rewarded, but you never know. And like I said, I'm never doing this again. And if you're going to do this, make sure you do it over your pond because you do not want to mess around with it after it's been set. If it's set here in the pond, it works really well. You can just put your meat in there and leave it open. They will crawl out up the top of the bucket. So any holes in there will work. 
and it produces a lot of food. It's a good way to make uh, use of something you might ordinarily throw out. It works, it's just, it's gross, really gross. I just saw a trout swim by and grab something off the bottom. Look at, threw up all the leftover maggots on the top there and they're all falling down into the water. And I just saw a fish swim by and grab something. They're, half of them are floating and the other half are sinking. There's a bass lurking by. You didn't notice yet. Good bunch of maggots jumping out overboard now. <laughs> and there's like a steady stream of fish. I don't know if you guys are gonna see it because it's silted up a little bit, but there are definitely fish customers down there working it. Hopefully the GoPro is picking this up, but there's a good bunch. This is actually one of the things that's working. It's the right size, I think, for these fish, pellet sized. We haven't fed them yesterday, so they're definitely hungry. But there's there's maggots kind of strewn all across the top of the lake here pond here and uh, i'm surprised they're not getting picked off i actually see a bass over here working and i heard a couple splashes earlier so they might be picking them off once they figure out what to look for this is like this will work this is a this is a viable way of feeding your fish for sure just throw your meat in there get some roadkill throw it in the bucket have like six or ten of these going hang around your pond you know convert all your rotting meat or rotting meat that you can find into fish meat, it's perfect. Those fish are actually coming up to the surface for the floating maggots. They floated all the way down to the far end. So the final verdict on the maggot feeder, do the maggot feeder if you cannot fuss with it. If you gotta fuss with it, don't do it. It works excellently. The fish are onto it right away. They identify it as food immediately. They're just the right size. And essentially, once you have this system set up, there's no maintenance. Throw it inside the bucket, close the bucket, leave it. And those maggots are going to do all the work for you, or the flies are, and you're going to benefit from it. Pretty cool, but it smells like death. There's a pile of trout in there lurking. Lurking and lurking. 